Hey guys, Val Quinn here reporting from my hotel room in New York City. So I'm here to catch Samsung's latest news all about its big unpacked event and what kind of things we're going to see in the foldable phone space moving forward as well as a few other things. So we've got some great footage of the actual event and I'll take you through all of the details as well as what's going on not only with phones with their new watches as well as buds. So let's get right into it. So there's no doubt that the foldable phones are the big thing for this unpacked launch event. Uh, it's the first time also that Samsung's actually been able to do in a big event, a big global one in real life uh, here in New York City. So they made a big splash and they've created some incredible sort of displays and really focusing people on the foldable phone technology. So what you're seeing here is kind of a, a callback to the first Fold, uh, Galaxy Fold, where they didn't have such an easy time, but they really have learned a lot of lessons along the way. Um, and they've adopted these into, this is now the version four, so we're seeing the new Samsung Galaxy Z Series Fold 4 and Galaxy Z Flip 4 phones. So right now we're seeing their uh, fold and unfold mechanism because all of these phones have been rated for 200,000 opens and closes. So you can kind of be sure that they're pretty durable. How many times you open and close your phones in a phone's life, I'm not really sure, but they think that that's a lot. <laughs> This is a Galaxy Z Flip 4, and this phone is designed for people who want to create content, as well as uh, people who want to express themselves in terms of the phone design and colors. So we're seeing that it's become a little bit slimmer, maybe just by a tiny bit, 1.2 millimeters. Um, and because it's got slimmer bezels around the display, the display actually gets wider, which is quite nice. Um, there are new colors. There's uh, a graphite, there's a pink gold, there's Samsung's signature Bor Bora purple, which you'll see a lot of, and there's a blue. And if you want to use the uh, bespoke edition, which allows you to customize the uh, the panels as well as the frame a metallic color there are 75 color combinations uh, that you can choose from uh, but overall uh, what you'll find is the the cover screen uh, that's the screen on the outside when it's closed it's got new wallpapers and you have the ability to now record a 15 second video clip and have that play there and plus there's a lot more direct functions you can do through there um, in terms of checking the weather um, you can pay for things using Samsung pay you can control your smart devices you can get directly to your Bluetooth set and that type of thing. Um, the camera has also seen some improvements, not so much with the lenses, but the sensor gets better. It's got 65% more light sensitivity, meaning you know Samsung's nitography features like low light um, uh, photos and stabilization will be better. Um, uh, also, you can do night selfie photos uh, in portrait mode, um, and there's uh, better stabilization and that type of thing too. But probably the biggest thing that people will love is that the battery has actually increased in size, because I know there's some issues with the uh, the uh, Flip 3's battery being a little bit small, so it's 12% larger. Um, and also there's a fast charge capability, meaning that if you have a 25 watt charger, you can top it up to 50% in 30 minutes. So this phone in Australia costs, well, starts at $14.99, and that's got 128 gigabytes of memory on board, and then it goes up from there. So next we have the Galaxy Z Fold 4. So this is the you know the the productivity beast. This is very powerful. It's got a massive 7.6 inch screen that folds out, lots of cameras on it, and that type of thing. So uh, starting off on the outside, we're seeing uh, new colors. So we're seeing phantom black. We're seeing green and beige. Uh, in terms of the design, it gets wider without widening the device itself. They're saying 2.7 millimeters wider. So that's because of smaller bezels around the screen. In terms of the weight, it's dropped eight grams, um, which is great to see. Um, inside, uh, we're getting a more optimized viewing experience for that bigger screen, so more companies are jumping on board, like the Microsoft Office Suite, uh, as well as YouTube, uh, Netflix, Disney Plus, just to give you that sort of bigger experience so their apps kind of make more use of that screen. There's also a really cool new taskbar, um, which is kind of like the taskbar you see at the bottom of your, uh, you know, your PC desktop, which um, you can just quick launch apps as well as multitasks. So that appears at the bottom of the screen, giving you that PC-like experience. 
Um, and uh, of course the uh, S Pen compatibility is still there, but it's not integrated into the body itself. But you know, the big, big change is the camera. So now, and as it should be, I would say, the, the, this top of the range foldable gets the same camera as what you're getting in the Galaxy S22. So that means a 50 megapixel wide, 12 megapixel ultra wide, and a 10 megapixel three times op optical telephoto. And that also gives you that 30 times space zoom. Uh, I'm in inside also we're getting the Snapdragon 8 Plus Gen 1 processor. Uh, I think it's the same sort of battery, um, but it does get that fast charging capability going from zero to 50% in 30 minutes. Also really important is its, you know, its durability. Uh, not that there's been that many problems that I'm aware of with the, uh, the foldables in this generation, um, but uh, we're seeing improved shock resistance uh, due to sort of a multi-layering technology. There's a uh, Corning Gorilla Glass, Gorilla Glass Victus Plus, and that's on the front and the back actually of both phones. Um, there's armor aluminum, uh, a metal frame and hinge, and it's got an IPX8 rating. Actually, that's the same as well as on the Flip 4. So all up, there's a lot of great features in this new one. It's really coming of age. Price-wise in Australia, we are starting at $24.99 and that's for the 256 gigabyte model and it tops out at $2,999 for the one terabyte model and that one you can only get exclusively from Samsung stores on samsung.com. Wearables front, we have the Watch 5 and the Watch 5 Pro. So the Watch 5 is 40 to 44 millimeters, and it's all about bringing you sort of advanced health advice. So it uses its suite of sensors, but it kind of makes more meaning for you. So for example, with sleep sensors, though it'll tell you what your sleep animal is, which kind of describes, you know, whether you're a lion or a, I don't know, a dog or something like that. I haven't actually tried it. And it gives you sort of advice about how to improve, um, you know, your sleeping patterns rather than just giving you a bunch of data. Um, you know, it's seen other improvements too. It's at the aluminium bodies, 60% uh, stronger glass, 30% uh, larger battery, 30% faster charging. Uh, you have a whole bunch of different colors and bands to choose from as well. But the interesting one is the Watch 5 Pro. So this is actually made of titanium. It's 45 millimeters uh, crown, and it's really for outdoor or active users. Um, so it has uh, at, like a really strong and enhanced sapphire crystal. Uh, it's quite a bit thicker too. It's got a massive battery and a special watch strap with a new clasp. Um, it includes things like GPS navigation with route workouts, turn-by-turn -turn navigation. It's got something called trackback, which returns you safely to your starting point, which can be handy as well. Um, a whole bunch of new watch faces. Uh, so in terms of pricing, the Galaxy Watch 5 40 millimeters starts at 499. Uh, and it goes up to $599 uh, for the uh, LTE version of that. Uh, and in terms of the Watch 5 Pro, we're looking at $549 for the, the normal edition and then $649 for the LTE or 4G edition. <laughs> We're also seeing the new uh, Galaxy Buds 2 Pro. So these are earbuds, the top of the range ones from Samsung. So new in these are support for 24-bit um, hi-fi audio. Um, so that's um, much higher resolution audio with more dynamic sound. I think this is great. Um, it does support uh, Samsung's own, I guess, near lossless codec. Um, so you should be able to play high fidelity audio tracks with this. Um, we'll find out more about what file format to support soon. Um, it also has a more powerful active noise canceling. Uh, it has features like voice detect and uh, that basically uh, turns on the ambient sound when someone speaks to you, which is really cool. Uh, it has uh, support for 360 spatial audio. So that kind of has like audio tracking when you move your head, the audio still appears to come from the same source. And that also supports uh, Dolby for that too. Uh, in terms of design, it's 15% smaller uh, than the previous model of the, uh, the Buds Pros. And it's got the canal type um, earbuds that fit into your ear. And there's more, uh, they say, aerodynamic design with a, a vent hole, new nozzle grill, and micro array, arrays that improve the airflow. And there's a new windshield that's twice as large as before, so that cuts out, cuts out more wind noise. Um, they're designed to connect to the whole Samsung ecosystem using Easy Pair, uh, and there's also an auto switch which uh, will um, basically stop what you're doing, whether you're listening to a movie or something, and switch it over to your phone so you can answer your phone. 
Um, lastly, for the first time ever, it now supports uh, compatible Samsung TVs uh, with uh, that easy pair system, so it should be able to connect to them really quickly. There are three colors. There's now graphite, there's white, and of course Samsung's signature Bora Purple. So yeah, some great changes there with the new Galaxy Buds 2 Pros. Now these will cost $349 and uh, you can pick them up um, on uh, September the 2nd. Just like all of these products, you can pre-order August 11th and then uh, they'll be in store on September 2nd. <laughs> All right, that's it guys for Unpack 2022 and my quick take of it. Look, I think overall Samsung's addressed some of the pain points that have frustrated people with the previous models of the Folds. They definitely are all in on this form factor and really want it to go to the masses. And I think with version four, they're pretty much there. Um, the new camera on the, uh, the Fold 4 is great. The better battery life on the Flip 4 is fantastic too. Um, but other than that, I think they kind of do look a little bit too similar to what they did last year. So you can't really tell the difference that much visually. Also, I'd love to see them a little thinner than they are, but I guess we'll see next year. I mean, Apple's coming up with its new devices really soon as well. I definitely don't think we'll be seeing a foldable phone from Apple anytime soon. Uh, when they do do it, they'll probably have taken stock of what Samsung's been doing and try to improve on it even further, but that's uh, not going to happen for a long time yet. Anyway, this is Val Quinn from Gadget Guy. Uh, if you like what you see, please uh, subscribe or give us a like, um, and we'd love to make more videos for you soon. Thanks.